Hey, what's happening, guys? It's hot. The air conditioner's on. That's the background noise. I apologize, but I don't feel like sweating too much today. I was in West Virginia over the weekend for one of my niece's high school graduations. She graduated number 11 in a class of 400 and got a $31,000 scholarship to WVU, so very proud of her. But now that the school year is over, I thought we would take a look at a few of the questions that were on one of my finals this year. And you guys can play uh, test your knowledge and uh, see how you do. Are you ready? Okay, let's start out with an easy one. We will do voltage dividers. So, have a resistor here. Resistor here. Resistor here. Resistor here. We have a voltage source here. A voltage source here. We'll do a little something like this. Connect our grounds together. We'll call that node A. That one B. And what we're going to want to know is the voltage here at A and the voltage at B. So in order to do that, you need to know some values. So let's go with 25R and 47R and 33R and 10R and 100VDC here. 100 VDC here. So what is the voltage at A and B? I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. Okay, so the voltage at VA is 65.28 VDC. And the voltage at VB is 23 Point two six V D C. Now for a challenge. What's this voltage here? We'll call it VC. What's the voltage between those two points? Give you a couple seconds to think about it. Okay, just a small hint. A is positive relative to B. So our voltage here is 42.02 VDC. If you got that, you're good and you've got the idea of what's happening. That is a, uh, an important question on the test. And if the students could make that work, then they basically understand what we're doing in this first year of classes. Okay, next up, we know that the current in a series circuit, I, is, according to Ohm's law, we'll say E total, right, over R total. Basically, I equals E divided by R. But we're just going to go total because we're, we're talking about a series circuit here. So... We know by Ohm's law and also by Kirchhoff's law, more importantly, that the voltage dropped across any resistor in the circuit may be calculated by saying ER is equal to I times R. Okay? Now, I want you to combine these two formulae to eliminate the I. Go. Are you ready? Here we go. It is ER equals E total <laughs> times R over R total. 
That's just a simple algebraic manipulation of the two formulas. Nothing too hard there. Okay, next up. This time I want you to design a voltage divider circuit for me. That splits it up. I want 25% of the total voltage here and 75% of the total voltage on the bottom. It really doesn't matter what this is. Let's call this E total, right? So, what are the values of R1 and R2? Okay, I'm going to give you an answer for this. <laughs> 250 R and 750 R. Now, like I said, this is an answer. There are a multitude of possible answers for this. As long as you're getting the 25% and the 75%, it's simply the ratio of those two resistors. The values really don't matter. All right, one more, and I'll let you guys go for today. Let's say we have another, another voltage divider circuit, all right? This we'll call R1, R2. Now, the question becomes... What happens to R1 when we apply a load? And what happens to R2 when we apply a load? I'll give you a minute to think about it. All right, no algebra, no mathematics needed here. Just a simple understanding of what will happen. The voltage across R2 will sag, and the voltage across R1 will increase. So... Just a sampling of what was on one of the finals. Nothing terribly complicated. I like to make the finals core information that the students need to take with them into the next year's class when things start to get difficult. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.